electromagnetics essentially is the science of light. So the minute you turn on light, that's electromagnetics. We're going to talk about boundary conditions. So tell me, what have you learned so far about electric fields? The fascinating thing about understanding electromagnetics is how it interacts with its surroundings. We are alive because of electric fields. Okay, let's play more. Oh, absolutely, but that's like a phenomenally long lecture. <laughs> <laughs> From an engineering perspective, how can you tailor the surroundings to get what you want? That becomes computationally a huge challenge, but that's what I'm passionate about. All right, Zed, yeah. there's something wrong in this very first equation. What we do now that is we figure out how do you take that problem that is humongous and yet solve it within a few hours. The richness of electromagnetics today is significantly more than what it was 30 years ago. If you think of GPS, satellites so many miles away telling you your location within five meters, uh, that is amazing. If you advance technology, that creates more problems, and once you solve those problems, it advances technology and the cycle keeps going. I think you can call this lifetime employment for generations. <laughs> so what is wrong with my thought process? My group over the years has been highly collaborative. Is it possible that filtering needs to be more or less aggressive? Typically what happens is that I have students working on a given project. We whiteboard all over the place. And for anybody entering this group, I tell them that you have to leave your ego at the door. You will be wrong and I will be wrong, but it's my job to teach you and it's your job to teach me as well. You're band limiting everything, but what about the phase information? What drew me to Michigan State was that it was a collaborative atmosphere amongst both faculty members and students. The phase information is embedded in F tilde. Yeah, so it is not embedded in science. It's not embedded in that. Okay. Right? I would venture to guess that we are in the top five of schools in this country, if not the top three. If I take this guy, start all the way up, come all the way down, it works beautifully. So one of the best pieces of advice that I received from a colleague at Michigan State, I don't think I'd have gotten from anywhere else, was the following. In creating something, it's more important to give than to receive, to be a collective than a collection. And that is something that I don't think I'd have done if I hadn't come to Michigan State.